Uptown New Orleans, like always. Cash money, boys shine like ball heads. Big bezel make my watch look like a hog head. And all I do is smoke, smoke, come and loud head. I'm butter on a bread like corn cake. And I am all about me like Joe Ray. I'm in the hood, in the hood, like dope, yay. Yeah. That big tail like buckwheat. Oh, okay. Virginia and her husband Morton are chilling in the park. It is warm in the late afternoon time in the hood. Lesson Larry is playing in the sandbox. I think I'm gonna build a sandcastle. Yo, piss off, bitch. This is my playground. Why, you punk? Because of this. <laughs> While Larry is having problems, the parents are talking. Morton, baby. We have to do this more often. What? We have to spend more time with our son. He doesn't only need my love, but also yours. I've got to work. You know my business is hard. I can't ignore my customers. Got it? These theft junkies, they can get their drugs elsewhere. They aren't your family. We are your family. It's your son. He has to be more important than anything in the world. At least more than fucking drugs. There has to be someone earning money. This is my way to get it. And I get much money for my family. But... During their talk, they hear the son crying. What's wrong, Larry? The mean ass punched me in my face. You don't have to put up with it. Go to him and defend your honor. And how? Hit him back. I can't. You have to learn to get through and protect yourself. Crying isn't a solution. No, hit him back. Hey, asshole. Do you want more? No. Eat sand, motherfucker. Larry punches the other kid in the face kicks him when he's lying on the floor and forces him to eat sand. The other kid leaves the sandbox calling his dad. Daddy! Daddy! Woo. A few minutes later the kid comes back, but not alone. What did you do to my son? Nothing, I just did what my mom told me to do. Where is she? She sits on the bench right there. The father turns around and walks straight to the bench, where Morton and Virginia are sitting. You two child abusers made my son cry. We did nothing, fat slut. Shut up, bitch. Morton stands up and is on fire. We all fire. Should we take it off? If it gets too hot, up in the spot, we all fire. Hey, watch out what he's saying, punk. Or what? One on one, I'm gonna smoke your ass. Not in front of the eyes of our kids. Let's meet at 8 o'clock in the industry district, behind the old chartered buttery. So you've got enough time to search for a new father for your little piece of shit. It's gonna be better for you to come alone. I warn you, otherwise I'll find you everywhere. Then he takes his son and leaves the playground. What did you do? Why do you risk your life? It was you who said that there has to be someone earning money. Yeah, but it was you who told our son to defend his honor. Do you think I haven't got any? Forget your reputation. Larry needs his father alive, not a dead hero. There's no risk. I'm just gonna call some friends. This fatso has no chance. Friends? What kind of friend? You know what I mean. Don't do that, but what am I talking? You always do that what you think, but what about Larry? You go with him to our neighbor Juliet, and in a few hours I'm gonna pick you up. Stop on shit, I'll see if she's there. While Virginia is on the way with Larry to the neighbor Juliet, Martin calls his gang buddies to meet at half past seven, two blocks away from the butchery. So it's 7.40. Yo! Do you got your gun? Yeah! Let's fuck the life of this food who assaulted me. Yeah. I go first and you wait here until I give you a sign. Martin comes behind the buttery where the fat guy is waiting. Yeah. I didn't expect you to come. You see, I'm here. I have balls. What about you? Let's bring it to an end. Suddenly Virginia appears and comes around the corner. She sees only Martin and doesn't anticipate the danger. Martin, I brought Larry to Juliet, but I couldn't stay there when you're in danger. Oh, damn! Headshot. No! <laughs> Holy shit. Shit, shit, shit. Soon after Virginia got chopped by the fat guy, Martin guns him down. Then black hammer jeeps come around the corner and armed gangsters get out of the cars. At the same time, Martin's homies come on the scene and the shooting incident begins. Get out! 
After a while there are no more shots. Most of the gang members are lying on the ground, dead or injured. Morton knees next to his wife, staring desperately at her lifeless body. From far away sounds the wail of sirens. Morton reluctantly leaves Virginia's dead body behind and flees. Two months later, Morton is living with his son in another quarter. He has a new job as car dealer and his old neighbor Juliet often visits him and Larry. And now, the outtakes. During the talk, they hear their son crying. What's wrong, Larry? This mean ass punched in my face. You don't have to put up with it. Put up with it. That's how it's put up. Put up! You don't have to put up! Put up, 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 put